Alright, hey, so uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to hook up a pull station to a fire alarm. gotten request upon request upon request to do a video on how to hook up a pole station to a fire alarm so that is what I'm going to be doing. So the first thing you will need is a power source of some sort. So if you don't have anything what you can, a simple thing to do is you can just take two 9 volt ba batteries and then just connect them together like that. Bam you got 18 volts of power. In fire alarms, most fire alarms run on DC voltage um, instead of AC, so um, and 9 volt batteries run on DC voltage. So you can use 9 volt batteries as your power source. Or um, most phones, uh, this is an old one that doesn't work anymore, the chargers that go into them are 9 volts and 9 volts DC. Uh, that'll work for your thing. This one's a 12 volt DC uh, plug power adapter, but uh, the way you can tell is on every plug, it'll tell you uh, its voltage, what it comes in and what it comes out. See right here it says 12 volts DC output. So you'll know that this puts out 12 volts DC and that'll work. All right. So after you figure out what you're uh, gonna get with your uh, power source, um. You need just a simple uh, wire. You can get an extension cord and cut it and just get a wire, or you can go out to the hardware store. You just really need a wire, okay? And then you'll need a screwdriver of some sort. And then you'll also need a pull station and a fire alarm. So today I'm just going to be wiring up the VG10 to the Wheelock AS, alright? So it's pretty simple. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm not going to be using 9 volt batteries, but it's kind of basically the same. Just one more thing before I show you how to wire these up. Never, when you're wiring anything, have anything plugged into the wall or connected. That's like the number one rule, okay? So, let's get started. So you're just going to flip your fire alarm and your pull station over, alright? Put those aside. So, here is uh, my plug. So... It plugs into the wall and the wire comes through. So here's the ends of the wires. Now the electricity needs some place to go. So what you'll do is to first get your electricity going into a circuit, you'll just put um you'll put one of the wires into the back of your pole station. And it doesn't matter which one for right now. Okay? And then what you'll do with the terminals is you'll just screw it shut. See, now the wire is in there and it can't get out. Alright, so we already have our first wire done. So now that it's into the pole station, it needs a way to get to the alarm. Alright, so what you'll be doing is you'll be taking your other spare wire and then just connecting that to the other side of the ter terminal again. Just do the same thing that I just did. Alright, see now it's connected. Alright. So uh, now that wire somehow needs to get um, to the fire alarms. Okay, so now you see right here where it says it has a plus and a minus sign. So all you have to do is you just got to wire the negative to the negative sign and the positive wire to the uh, plus sign. So basically how you can tell with these wires is the wire from uh, your uh, transformer here, this wire has little uh, white straight lines on it. You're just going to, um, the wire of white straight lines on it is positive. So you're just going to wire that wire right into the positive circuit. And then, of course, the other wire would have to be negative. So you're just going to wire the other wire right into the negative spot. Alright? So now you basically have a little uh, simple circuit here, alright? See? The um, power comes in. 
it wants to get to uh, the fire alarm, but it can't if it could only connect. And so when you pull the fire alarm, it's like turning on a switch. The power connects and goes through a circle, but when you turn off the switch, the power gets stopped and it's done. So now you basically have a simple fire alarm circuit right here. So let's go ahead and pull it and see if it works. Three, two, one. Alright, and to turn it off, you just reset your pull station. And yeah, it, um, I guess it works now. And this is, by the way, set on 110 candela. So that is how you uh, wire up a pull station to a fire alarm. Thank you for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.